Hi, Bletcher here. To remind you that this is part two of our long conspiracy theory episode that we actually started last week. So if you haven't heard that uh, episode, please take a listen to that episode first and come back to this one to continue with us. Also, just as a heads up, normally we do like to stay out of the political and religion talk. But here, because of it being so late at night and we do take off... uh, you know, left and right turns as we talk together. We do take some darker conversations at this moment, just as a fair warning. Uh, Thank you, and let's get back to this episode. Another conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. Do you think COVID-19 is a hoax or it's real? I I think it's closer. Yeah, that one hit a lot close, and it might lead into a little political area. Crazy how many people think like it's, it's a hoax. not real. It's a hoax. And sadly enough, we our family was greatly affected yeah. by by this pandemic. Um we won't get into detail on what happened, yeah. but uh, yeah, to to think that people don't think that COVID is actually happening or that it's a government type of thing like there we go. that was gonna be my other thing do you think it's it was actually like freak accident like it was literally an accident or the government it's like a government made man-made like disease, a disease like, made in the lab no, and released no. the public. honestly honestly i believe that it's also it the covid is a effect of um of global warming with all the polar ice caps melting, and they're obviously releasing bacteria that we have not had in this world for God knows how long, mm-hmm. um, that created this new disease. And unfortunately, it, it, it was it's a very big disease that is just affecting the world at a very gradual rate. And with this uh giant disgusting orange in office uh, <laughs> we were not <laughs> hey you guys remember the annoying orange <laughs> that's, what I'm saying. that's exactly <laughs> what he is <laughs> that was my name too. That's um it, it, we could have avoided a lot more very quickly but take it seriously from the get-go yeah yeah. If they um, saw the potential threat, it could have actually been and is still at this point. Yeah. It's, and, just, mm-hmm. it's crazy that I've seen, like, I, I was, like, baffled by a commercial I saw with my parents about, like, asking, like, people, like, you could save your family if you volunteer to take the COVID shot. Like, what? It's not even, like, an actual like vaccine it's just like a test and they want like people to be their rats like their lab rats and like it's actually a commercial going through like the tv for people to see like i was just like what and i honestly naomi i think that's better off than them pulling people out of the streets and doing that or giving it to our druggies on the street and who knows if they're not doing that exactly (laughs) and then unfortunately by doing that by putting it on tv or even being out on the streets the only real people they're gonna get to quote-unquote volunteer is just the people that are uneducated and are not with the times and unfortunately that is the older people who they will be testing on Mm -hmm. because i mean first of all they believe everything that goes on facebook even though clearly like us as millennials would be like yeah, or younger know. people's. That's why I saw it. Yeah, we'll that, be that like, to like the now, like the flu shot is mandatory. When before mm-hmm. it wasn't, like it was an option, and now it's like it's mandatory. Like why now with yeah. everything going on? Yeah, it's like sketchy. Like why? I mean, it's kind of like I get it that like my mom thinks like oh it's because you know so people don't get sick during the winter and stuff so they don't get COVID. Like it's gonna happen regardless. It's not. Yeah. It's not a COVID vaccine. Yeah. So it's like unless they're putting something into the flu shot, and they want to test it out, you know that it's being. It's like it's crazy. You, you don't know what to believe anymore. Like, 
are you yeah. guys doing something I mean, like for us? Are we the test like rats? Like are we the lab mm-hmm. rats? And you guys put something in there that could be possibly like the COVID vaccine into yeah. the flu shot. And we're going to see if we can succumb it or not. Like, It's it's hard to tell. Yeah. It's, it could be worse. It could be what Florida is doing right now, pretty much taking all restrictions off and saying you don't have to wear a mask and it's not a mandate anymore. Yeah. It everyone's going to get it regardless. So it's like testing them out. Yeah. It is a test, but yeah. it's risky, super risky. It's Ooh, 100% risky. Though. It's like you already know the age different, like the, the age it affects and the people it affects. It affects the older community and like the sicker people. Yeah. So why are you going to have that? Like, let's just play this out and have everybody get it. Like, you know, not like 100%, like maybe 40% is going to make it. I believe yeah. statistics for Florida right now is actually the people who are the ages between 25 to 45 right now are at higher, like higher, uh, risk. higher risk because they're the ones going out. Yeah. Well, yeah. And cause drinking and stuff like their defense is down and all that. Yeah. Then that exactly. So Florida was just one big, um, Patriot dish for them. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sadly, yeah. Florida is just a big, uh, college spring break so spot. And yeah, that's where people go. And like, even when we first got affected by the pandemic, that video of like, it's my spring break, I'm gonna enjoy it no matter what. It's like, all right, go ahead and like die that because everybody was in Florida because it was the only mm-hmm. state open. Everything it was, was spring open, break, yeah. So. And it was unfortunately it was at the same time as spring break, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, an- another conspiracy theory going with uh, COVID nineteen is that apparently like if you get a shot or a flu shot or whatever, um, there's now, uh, what is it, like tracking devices within the yeah. the medicine or whatever? I I, that's what I meant in that. Like, if they're making it like a mandatory thing. Like, yeah, flu shot. kids mm-hmm. have to, like, to be able to go back to school, they have to have a flu shot. Yeah. Like, they have to. It's mandatory. Like, what? Why? Exactly. But, exactly. And even... For those people who are like, oh, they're just tracking devices. We already have tracking devices. It is your smartphone. Yeah, yeah simple as that. They are, tr- they are literally tracking you already. Yeah. Like even now with AirPods, you could track where your AirPods are because of like, find my phone. If you lose one, they start beeping. They're oh, connected. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I found that out too, like a week ago, because I. I uh, it's like some people don't think about like how much information the government already has on us, and then they're they're like, some people are scared to like have their cameras on and shit like like stuff yeah, like that. They already know how you look, like your age, yeah. stuff like that. They already know all they're, of. That. They know everything. They know more about us than our own families do. Let's be honest. Yeah, let alone that. Scary. that it's really <laughs> scared to even think about it like that. But they, yeah. You think you have total privacy and there's no such thing in this modern society. There's no total privacy when we're posting every day on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Things exactly. we're into, Thank family you, pictures. I mean, there was also a point where people thought that Pokemon Go was a way to track us. And it's like, yeah, no shit. Mm-hmm. They already are. Like They they start tracking us as soon as we're born here in the United States. That's the first thing they do is start tracking us and who we are. They give you, they give you an ID number. They, 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 they mark you like what well, their your territory technically. There we go. That's what I was gonna say. It's like they claim you. More like your like cattle. Long. More like your freaking cattle. Yeah. And it's like crazy to think. It's kind of sick. Yeah. Kind of. I think if you honestly think about it, it's like it's insane. It is sick because it's like the norm for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just it is how it like, is. How did this become the norm? Like. Yeah. I mean, you guys want to talk about sick. Do you guys know, do you guys remember that story of how um, those triplets were, when they were born, they were all separated at birth. And then as they were like in their mid twenties, like they all found each other. Unfortunately, there's a whole documentary on it. Mm -hmm. Is it the guys? Yes. The three guys. So for people who don't know, uh, there's a documentary, I believe on Netflix where some uh, one of the guys goes to college and as he's going into his dorm room a a different guy approaches him and starts asking him all these random questions like when were you born are you adopted 
uh, where are you from, and all these things. And the friend, uh, the random guy that approached him, um, connects the dots like, oh, you were probably separated at birth from my other friend who grew up on the, again, same birthday, same height, like literal same face. They're identical twins. Mm -hmm. And as the news story goes out about these two quote unquote twins now finding each other, a third guy sees it on the news and goes, those guys look exactly like me, have my same birthday. And they ended up being triplets. So now this whole thing comes out after too, where um, between a, a, a few months between those that year of of newborn twins and triplets, they were purposely and forcibly removed from their parents. I don't know how they got away with doing this, and purposely put into different. Uh, cities in different um, class like class settings they were like um, like poor all right and then like super rich and then just to see if like the whole growing up thing was a nature nurture type of thing oh. yeah I and it's studied nature and nurture well you also work with little kids so you yeah. kind of have to <laughs> well, that's crazy how basically it doesn't matter mm-hmm. um you're born the way you are. And obviously, mm-hmm. depending on your environment, it just switches. But at the end of the day, who you are inside is going to... You're going to be who you are. Yeah, like it's yeah. going to come like come out. <clears throat> it doesn't matter if you're born into like parents that are super nurturing. If you're just not like that, it's not going to happen. Yeah. And if you're one of those people that just needs it and your parents aren't, it doesn't matter. You're going to seek it elsewhere. That's crazy. Well, then I'm sorry for you guys having to deal with all this fabulous every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, and then so it's like all these like twins and and triplets like they're slowly finding each other, and like you said, a lot of them have the same mannerisms and all this stuff. So that's how a lot of people also realize like these people were connected. Um, but the doctor just recently died. And a lot of these and a lot of these twins and triplets now want information like they want his research to understand why he did it. Like, what is he what was he working on? Like a project or something. Yeah, because that's what technically they were. They were test subjects. Um, But for some reason, the college that this professor was at, like, is not allowed to hand out that information. Not until like the like 2060 when it's pretty much almost time for like half of these twins or triplets to pretty much um, not be in the world anymore yeah, yeah there's a reason why that, it's forgotten basically pretty much why the copyright laws and stuff like that like you own some property but you mm-hmm. only own it for, for for i think it's like 40 to 50 years and then it becomes public like uh what's the word public it just goes, it belongs to the public at that point. Yeah. You can't uh, claim it. But you can't but claim it, yeah. Unless you have the, like, contracts and stuff with that. But still, like, how do you, ha- like, how do you have that mentality, that mindset, and be a cold, dead robot and separate these these newborns from their biological parents and then separate them into different, into different worlds? And, like... They're either going to find themselves or they're not. Fuck it. My question is, what do they tell the parents? Like, oh, just one of them made it, the other two died? That's what I want to know. Do they not like, know that they had like, triplets from the get-go? Pregnant with three? Yeah, right. Or twins? That's the bigger question I probably I have. It's like, how go. do they respond to the parents? Yeah. Like, the parents think they were dead? Did they only get one? Yeah. Or maybe the parents were part of it and they agreed to it too. Yeah. That could have been the other, you know, side of that coin. They could have been like, oh, we signed up for this. Like, you know, like if we do have triplets, two of them are gonna go to two other families and we'll just well, keep how do, like how do you have the mindset of doing that? Like I get it if you're in a financially struggling situation where you could only have one. That's like already, I, mean, right? I understand like, that. The other two, but 
to be like, honest. I'm like give biggest, them up for adoption. The biggest factor on that, which is easily just the one word, is just money, dude. Probably. Like, money, money makes the world go around. Sadly. They bought out for that. Sadly, sadly, sadly. Um, I think I have a, like a probably not a big conspiracy, but do you guys think uh, today, like today's technology, we're getting like suppressed? Like we're like, there's definitely more advanced scientific stuff going on, but like the like those people, private companies and whatnot, aren't releasing it to the public. Like you think like there's like we should like have flying cars and stuff like that. Like, uh, like, you know, stuff like that. You think technology should be more advanced as it is now. Cause if you think about it, like look at the, just the iPhones, for example, I feel like we had the same base model for the phone for the last like six years. Like, straight. It should be yeah. Seriously, like I pretty, I think we do have the technology for that. It's just, they don't want to release it to the public. I just think that they think we're dumb and we're not ready for it. Yes, I was about to say that. Now we like literally the words out of my mouth. But this world's not ready for all that yet. Yeah, but at the same time, like that's I kind of agree with that too. Yeah, I'm don't, not. Don't I'm you? not saying it like in a bad way. I'm just saying that's why I feel like they think. Yeah. I mean, people, my mom, who use flip phones and stuff, and <laughs> don't want to give that up. And I mean, there's, there's others idea. that are like way more advanced that are like, this is nothing I want more. Yeah. But to separate that, like there's still that like seed. Some of them aren't ready. Some of them are. And then there's the people in the middle that are just content with what we have right now. Yeah. And I'm one of those that think like, I think it's good how it is now. I think there's still so much that like, there's no need for all this technology. Yeah. I'm very more like, I'd rather just be there in person, like take it all in, then have like technology showing me. But then again, I appreciate all the technology with things I can't see myself. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? In certain- so I think that's what they want to balance out. Like we don't want to do too much that they give up all of that. Yeah. But then, yeah. yeah, like we don't want to take that away from. In certain things, know? I think they should advance more in. And I think they try to. Just so, like slightly example, quicker. Huh? Just like slightly quicker at a quicker yeah. pace than what we're doing now. Yeah, like thing like technology and just like in medicine in general, mm-hmm. amazing where it is now. But just it like could things be better. You, it could be better for sure. Like the things you're you're able to do now is just ridiculous compared to what we were able to do like like forty years ago is just astounding. You Not know? even like twenty years ago. Like yeah, exactly. Just twenty years. Like just able to insert a little needle here on one side, like for example, on your stomach, you can pretty, pretty much pump in like new blood for someone entirely and give them new yeah. cells if they were running out. Like back then, you probably that would probably require like huge machines and stuff like that just to even like to even attempt to do something like that, and it wouldn't yeah. be one hundred percent guaranteed like it is now. Yeah. Well, you also got to remember, like as much as well. First of all, like we grew up in the area in the same era as computers and all that stuff like we still knew like yeah we could be inside and play some video games or be on the computer and surf the web but we were also the generation that was still outside riding bikes scraping our knees and all we did was put a band-aid and we were back up and running around yes yes now unfortunately like like my little sister like she's she was at the tail end of that Like, yeah, she was still out there and playing, but then she just grew up inside with TV and the phone and all the computers and stuff. So she didn't she didn't get the full experience like we did. Yeah. Let's let's be more like closer to this. Danny, our nephew, 10 years Mm -hmm. old. Yeah. They don't their idea of a good time having fun is being on their switch switch Switch. or an iPad and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, and then playing it's Fortnite. Going out, like I've tried, I've tried to like take him to museums and stuff, and he's mm-hmm. been before, like within an hour, he's like, "I want to go home." Yeah, it's just yeah. that's yeah. it's sad. It's, it's kind of sad. It's sad. And there's yeah. nothing you could do. I mean, as a parent, you can try like, "Oh, let me just take him outside and stuff," but it's just like it's now. It's like the world's not even safe anymore for that. Like before, we'd be out, we'd go around the block for hours, and our parents wouldn't be like. 
people. We didn't have phones. For them to be calling us to come home, they just trusted, like, our neighborhood enough for us to be out there as children and stuff, like, having fun, learning lessons and stuff. But now it's like, you can't trust anybody. Yeah. It's scary, though. Yeah. To that point where you're, you can't even trust your own neighbors, your, your yeah. own people. Yeah. Like, you yes. like, it's not like I could just be like, yeah, just go outside and be back before the lights go off in the streets. Like, no. Because he could disappear. Someone could take him. There's all these, like, abductions now and everything. Which, yeah, like like you said, like, yeah, we, it's scary. Yeah, like, we wouldn't know our neighbors. And now it's like, if you say hi to your neighbor, it's like, well, what do you want? What are you planning? And then let alone, unfortunately, with not just a pandemic that's happening around right now, but this whole racial and social injustices that even us as Latinos, as Hispanics, like, we like Leche and has been a little bit more than me and Naomi. Um, like people still give them looks because they are darker skin tones, unfortunately. And even with me and Naomi, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Once we do start speaking Spanish, like they look at us completely different. It's like, oh, oh like so yeah, you're not <laughs> that's, white. Yeah, that's annoying. Like them thinking you're something else that you're not. Mm -hmm. without even asking properly first and it's like i'm not gonna get offended like if you ask me like where am i from or like where like what's my my heritage like i i want to express that i want people to know that i'm a proud proud latino like i'm fresh generation like i'm here like make a fucking stamp for my people yes i think that's like a different type of topic though like getting into that a little bit. We derailed a little bit, I will say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, this is how our normal conversations go. We start with one thing, end well, up somewhere else. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good segue because I was thinking of another conspiracy mm-hmm. that the police, the government, and like probably higher officials target certain individuals and in communities and whatnot. Oh, that's not... That's not that's not a conspiracy. That's a fact. That's yeah. No, I mean, like, yeah. There's the, no, there's no, no, that no. percent. That's like that few percent that think it's it's not a fact. Uh, okay. It just happens to fall in that like it is what it is. You know, I just you were bad timing, bad place. Yeah, there's it people. Happens, it and I live in, like not a like rich neighborhood. So that had nothing to do with it. It just happened. I was in the wrong place, wrong time. Like, no, it definitely has to do with my skin color and that I live in this area, not in this area. As much as I hate to say it, but a lot of those people end up being white people who don't fully understand, like, the struggle of... Again, I don't think I've told you guys this, but... Even when I worked at Bank of America, like there were times where I would, when you call and introduce yourself, hi, I'm Gustavo. And it's like, oh, do you have somebody else I could talk to? It's like, what? Like, I'm I'm the one dealing with your file right now. It's like, yeah, but I would rather somebody else do it. And like, they didn't have to say it, but I instantly knew what they were saying. Yeah. Like, if you have someone named Tim, I'd like to talk to him, please. Exactly. So it literally got to the point where I went up to my my manager and I was like, just so you know, if you get emails or phone calls of, I forgot what name I chose, but let's say Tim, like Naomi said, like if you get phone calls or emails that, oh, I spoke with Tim, that is now the name I'm working under because people do not want to talk to me. And if I can't do my job, like, why am I here? What am I learning? And it's like it's it's sad that it had to get to that point. And like, let alone that it was an internship. It wasn't even like a full on job. It was an internship. And it, I don't know. I think it's sometimes just your name too. You don't have like your profile. They might think something else, and then you say your name. Yeah. Uh, like Which... me, it's Naomi with an H, and they're like, "What's the H for?" Like, oh, it's silent. Like, no, it's not. It's Naomi. Like, no, in Spanish, it's actually Naomi. It's silent. So it's like, oh, you're Spanish then. And it's quickly like a different, you feel tom. like a different it's persona. A like, oh, yeah. okay, like, oh, you're Hispanic. Oh, yeah. you can see it. Yeah, it's 
but yeah, going back to the whole the the wrong place, wrong time thing, and it's like no, like it's if I was driving a car compared to as being driving a car, Esbin would get pulled over way be- way earlier before I would a higher get pulled chance over. Of getting pulled over than you would. Yeah. Yes. And not just white people, unfortunately, but even in in the Hispanic world, like there's still a good amount of racism. A good amount of stigma against each other. Yeah. I think sometimes it doesn't even have to do with like who I think is just skin color. I don't want to go into that like but I think it also has to do like how you present yourself and how other people see you that's yeah like, has um, a big factor yeah. to do with it for like sure. Esvin has like his type of like his sense of fashion you know and I'm we're used to it like that's just who he is to us we don't yeah. think of it any different but yeah. I have noticed like last time we went to stop and shop and he likes to wear bandanas just yeah. because they look cool on him, you know. He likes his sweatpants, his baggy clothes, and just because as soon as we walked in to stop and shop, the security quickly like started wa- like following us around. Yeah, I remember that. And, yeah. um, was it? I think we were with Vanessa actually, weren't we? Because uh, she was Anna. too. Was it with Anna? I don't know. Yeah, I know Anna was there too. I remember that. Yeah. No, no, Vanessa, just Anna and us too. Yeah. And he fo- like he followed us around until yeah. we finished paying, like until we left. Yeah, yeah he was literally following and us. And it's like entire time. really, it's and we really to look for snacks, so like we took our time. We like joked around and everything. Another time it happened was when I went with Chicky. Like as soon as I I walked in first, hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. He walked in, nothing. And, like, we were by, like, the third aisle, I want to say. We were looking mm-hmm. for, like, waters and stuff. Because he was going to go hiking, supposedly. Mm-hmm. But wait, no. I forgot what we were looking for. Whatever. But, like, the security guard happened to pass by more times. And I'm like, really? Uh, that's... It just is not a coincidence. Right. No. Like, yeah, it's, I mean, yeah. Yeah. That's not a coincidence that they're following you or someone that looks... Yeah. And mm-hmm. he goes... Quote, unquote, suspicious, you know. And he noticed, and he was like, and, this "No, at this point, it's not even suspicious." Yeah, because Cheeky is not a suspicious-looking person. He's just dark-skinned, even though he's genuinely himself. Yeah, it's that, that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes it has to do with like the way you dress, like you may see, like whatever. But yeah. for him, it was just because of his skin color. Yeah, it's his aesthetic, pretty much. Yeah. Entirely. And he was like, oh, is it just me or is like that security guard like passing by a lot? And I'm like, right? And I'm like, I kind of noticed it. And he was like, oh, oh. He's like, he can't do anything. I'm not doing anything. And I'm like, you're right. But sometimes that's the thing. Like, you could just be doing nothing. And they'll find a way. Yeah. They'll find the pole. That whole, like, you know, getting searched by or getting looked at weirdly. It, I mean, it happens to people, of course, and whatnot, and some people don't see it, in other words, and that's, stuff like that. That's, that's that's the thing. A lot of the people that do it think it's not, like, a big deal, and they're not doing it. So that's where it goes into, like... Is it racist? Or yeah. Or is it just you actually genuinely think, like, that guy looks suspicious? Like, is yeah. it... It's not it, because of his skin color. He just looks fishy. Yeah, like, yeah. is it really that, or is it the other thing? Like, and that's where it gets really touchy. Like, like if it's the other thing, then that's when it gets into, like, a more serious situation, mm-hmm. you know? And that's and I think that's the, the true conspiracy that I think about it. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. which one is it? Like, we would never know because we're not yeah. reading those people's minds, yeah. you know? Yeah. Or even the fact that, like, we already know it is, but there's people that don't think. They don't believe it is. that they're doing it. Yeah. It's, uh, it goes back to that. I don't know. Well, again, yeah, people are then forced to like believe these thoughts of certain people are bad, others are good, just specifically mm-hmm. because of how they look. But I don't know. Uh, again, I don't want to go fully deep into these 
conversations, even though these are the type of conversations we normally have. Mm -hmm. Growing back a little bit into the whole conspiracy things. um, Do you guys know uh, the... What are those heads? That... Uh, the stone heads, stone hedge, oh, stone hedge, or something like that. Yeah, stone hedges, yeah, stone head. The, the, um, the toes are the fucking stone hedge and shit. <laughs> I fucking love that meme. Their toes, <laughs> what? Supposedly, supposedly, they're like the toes, the to like toes. a giant the, statue because they're literally head. right across from each other. They're literally <laughs> from one point of the earth to the next point of the earth. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, like they get the body and whatnot, like a, a, a enormous statue and whatnot. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But even so, like, uh, there's still a whole conspiracy that those stone heads and uh, on Easter Island and even the pyramids in Egypt are actually aliens or sent from sent by aliens. Hmm. What are you guys' thoughts? It's kind of true that the Egyptians at that time were definitely advanced, like, mathematically, scientific, like, stuff more than they should have been. Materialistically, too. Like, how did they get all that to stick? And, and like, Yeah, exactly. Like, how did they create all that stuff that they did, and it all got lost, like, you know, within a couple of centuries, just literally, like, vanished, and underneath and whatnot, like, under all that sand. They probably, like, left the top open and just put everything in there, like, any evidence we have that we did this. Just bury it inside the pyramid. That's hot of all that stuff, though. There's no way they were yeah. that advanced. The aliens. Look, the aliens <laughs> helped them out, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, E.T. coming yeah. down, dude. <laughs> um, E.T. E- 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 phone home, and then they came. That's they the a lot of people thought it was E.T. go home. Uh-huh. E.T. <laughs> e- <laughs> phone <laughs> home. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I'm saying a lot of people think it's E.T. Go Home. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was actually talking about it with Megan. Yeah. (laughs) Isn't it? And I'm like, no, it's E.T. Phone Home. And he goes, when the f*** does he say phone? And I'm like, oh. It's always phone. It's always (laughs) phone. It's always trying to talk to them, right? Yeah. Yeah, when he's trying to talk. (laughs) As he just comes in, phone. Yeah, phone. (laughs) As he's falling asleep, dude. Yeah. Nah, I'm not. Let's just say he's a little under the influence. Nah, I could say it's a little hot in here in my house. Uh, also, side note, we are all over 21. Um, no one falling. is underage. Shut up, as been. <laughs> no one is underage drinking here. Forgot to mention that at the beginning. Yes. <laughs> um, but okay, I never knew that. That oh, that's, uh, that's funny. That right phone there. home, go home. Huh. Uh, yeah, do you guys have anything else? We had a lot. We went from from animals to the government to medicine to Epstein to individuals. Well, I mean, we can also talk a little bit of uh, aliens and ghosts. That's if they exist, go, aliens if and ghosts. Exist. I mean, that's a good segue from, you know, talk about the pyramids and whatnot, and then going yeah. to it. Just like I think a good segue would have been too talking about like Jeffrey Epstein. I don't know if you guys read about like how there's actual people out there that want to consider pedophilia like because of sex- like, the LG- yeah, like a sexual orientation. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. What? It's insane. It's uh, it's something that you can't control, basically. No. It's like basically like, oh, I'm gay, I can't control it. Oh, I'm a pedophile, I can't control it. I know, I think that's an illness. Like, uh, that, that's a mental sick. illness. You're sick. Yes. Yeah. That is not <laughs> an identity. <laughs> that's what you got identified as after, but that is not what you could claim no. to be an identity. No, yeah. how actually, dare they? And people actually consider it. Yeah, well, so those are those are the same people that also believe that um, gay rehabilitation camps are an actual thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Catholics, <laughs> as we says no. <laughs> um. Hey, that's another thing too. Religion—it's just it was all made up just to control people easier. 
I believe that as a a, a, theor- as a, a conspiracy theory. It's a good way to people like to believe in something that's probably not real. I mean, yeah. I don't want to, you know, that's kind of, you know, thin ice kind of situation about for sure. Um, but it could, it could be, you know, it could potentially be something to control people for sure. It's just the believing, having like an image and worshiping that one image that do you believe that there's something like a higher power? Yes. It doesn't necessarily have to be like what other, like with Catholic people think. Yeah. It could be whatever you believe in. Yeah. Um, but it's just the fact that people, it's like an image and they worship that image. That's like a big. I just think that that word worship is taken to serious literal yeah Uh, yes yeah i don't think that there's anything worth worshiping honestly Mm -hmm. yeah i mean sorry you know no go ahead um i was gonna say like yeah like i was gonna say like i don't think there's a thing where you take like you know you give your full you know your body mind and soul to one thing you know like that I don't think there should be something like that, to be honest. That's not right. It's yeah. not. It's not. And then belittling people for having a different belief. It's yeah. not good psychologically. Like, it's like how, really not. how is your God telling you that it's okay to do that? But then at the same time, to love everyone yeah, equally love and everyone, justfully. But if he's gay, no. Hey, but except these people, yeah. Yeah. Like no, that's just... it's kind of hypocritical if you think mm-hmm. about it. Yeah. It's and, super hypocritical. Yeah, and then, like again, like you guys know, like I grew up Catholic, um, mm-hmm. but I do not identify as Catholic anymore. I'm more of a spiritual connect with myself, with nature, with whatever is out there type of person. Because again, being a gay man in the Latino world, I mean it's mentally it was not the easiest thing to go through and you three were people who saw me in a lot of those ruts unfortunately yes i just Um, think as a hispanic like it's just we grow up with that and they expect it i think they basically push us to dislike like trying to have us love it so much and like follow up with it so much that at some point it's like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't believe this. I don't agree with this. That it's just like, I can't do this anymore. Obviously it doesn't push us to like hate anything either, you know, but just, just because that's what you believe in doesn't mean I'm going to believe in that. And as a Latino, like we, we can't have that. Like basically we're not allowed to like have that open mind. Yeah. And, um, I would say it's not just with Latinos either. I just think that we, the earth was like inherited by people that just grew up with tradition. Yeah. And I feel like millennials are the first generation to actually reject that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just speaking in behalf of us being like Latinos. Yeah. Yeah. No, but that's, I think it's more heavily influenced in Latino households. Yes. Yeah. Like how I was putting it, it's probably in the right context like yeah it's our like i don't know as if as he's considered our generation millennials yeah he is so uh, no he's yeah. actually not he's millennials not? no millennials end at 95 so me and leche are the last end of millennials really i thought it was to like 1990 no as this yeah. i don't understand how that goes to be honest me I, mean, 100%. I don't believe in that like fully like i do and don't um I just think it depends on who you grew up with, like, and everything. Um, because even Vanessa, like, Vanessa's, like, part of that Gen Z, whatever. And I also think it has a lot to do with, like, who you surround yourself with. Because I feel like Vanessa, when she's with her people, she's one way. And then when she's with us, she's another way. Like, she adjusts to us, you know? And just to her environment. But that's what Gen Z is good at, though. Oh, see? If you think about it, that's what they're It's like at. saying that's what Capricorns are good at. It's another thing. Zodiac sign. I don't. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> see, like these generate like generations and all how like they be called like 
basically naming them. I just mm-hmm. think it's just another way to separate people. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's correct. Like the yeah. baby boomers and all that. Yeah. 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 It's just like another, there's, there's just another way how to like, you can discriminate people for like being in another like generation. Like it's just, I don't know what's wrong with people and having that mentality of just separation. And it's honestly, it's kind of like segregation too. It's just in general, it's just something like this is this world has been instilled with. Like, I'm not sure why. Yeah. It's like, Oh, you don't have an opinion because you're Gen Z. You're not a millennial. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah. can't. Exactly. Exactly. Cause I've seen that. I've seen a lot of that. Like you want to understand. Or even like with stupid stuff. Like I said, like Zodiac signs, like, Oh, you're cancer. Oh, like okay that's, i think that's something else though like yeah 100%. It, it, it falls into that like you said like i mean there's people that are literally like that like oh you're a cancer oh, yeah. i can't date you or oh, you're a whatever i can't do this with you we are, we're supposed to hate each other like what yeah no it's no sense yeah um, what logic does that have yeah so so as being is technically between so as being it's technically a Gen Z, but because of him being surrounded by millennials uh, a majority of his life, he is technically called a Z-lennial. Ew. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Esmin. That's why Esmin says we shouldn't have titles. I think that was a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, what I'm that's another way of separating us even more, like in debt. Like, a big brain. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> my brain hurts too many I can't remember all of these well, well that's actually a whole conspiracy theory too like labels yeah. yes it's true. Label, yeah. Labels. Yeah, that's the word I've been like trying to get how labels mm-hmm. was that's just created to everything which is horrible. even when we don't think we do we do it we label it's just part of our nature at this point yeah. like it's even just... towards ourselves like no today I'm gonna be lazy label yeah. myself as lazy so yeah. I'm gonna be lazy yeah like you could you could try to be like not label yourself or anything like that, but it just happens, dude. Yeah. But we're labeled from the beginning, boy, yeah. girl. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's literally in our human nature to label things, to name things. Blonde, so like, brunette, like, like, like yeah, like it's the first thing we did. I'm pretty sure the first human to ever did was name something. Like to remember, like if that's a tree, that's a rock. It's you know I mean? yeah. 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 That's the first thing they tell us at daycare, like label this so the kids know. Yes, what it is. that's also. I have a question for you guys: If mm-hmm. do you guys think that we're taught things? Like, I honestly have a very big belief that we're taught colors, and we all see different colors. Yeah, like they're not actually what so, we're just. Yeah, taught. so like we grew up thinking like we all see Tito's bed sheets as a red right now. Yeah, but I was I was taught when I was little, that I see that color and that color is considered red. But that mm-hmm. red can honestly be Tito's, like, purple, but it looks that purple is red to him because he was taught to say that's red. Yeah. So, yeah, there's the whole, there's that, and then, but that's when they don't take into effect, unfortunately, people who are colorblind. I was just gonna say yes, I think those are people that reject, like, they reject that nature. Mm. No, well, yeah, I mean, they they obviously they just, see their their own colors, or they don't see other colors that we do, and that that's why like they have like a big like. It's like yeah, but then, yeah, but, yeah, but then there's also other people like myself and Naomi that who that if we see even though for you guys it would be the same color red, me and Naomi are able to tell the slightest difference in color and be like. Well, those are two different reds still. I don't know, Naomi, am I right? Yeah, well, that's, that, I feel like that has to do more with like eyesight than like actual like. Well, that's what colors. Well, well, that's what color people is. It's not that they're rejecting the labels. It's just they physically can't see that color. Labels are good and bad. It's kind of a weird, you know, a weird situation with them. To be honest. It's like you need them, but at the same time, they shouldn't be there. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's, I consider that. Like, like I said in my daycare, like they tell us to label Legos, like they tell us to label blocks and stuff. Like, why can't the kids just play with something? And it's it is what it's, yeah. it's just a toy. It's it's from little labeling thing now. Have a name, and it is what it is because they said so. Like soon enough, they're gonna want you to label your hand, hand, and then your nose, nose, and then your eyes, eyes. 
And it's crazy because you have two year olds that'll be like, why is that a Lego? And you're like, because it's a Lego, but why? Yeah. Like, I don't know what you want me to tell it's, you. It's, it's, that's just what it's been. Who said that? Like, so the guy, like, the <laughs> or, like years ago. It's crazy to me that young people, like young kids actually start, they make you really, really think about, like, why do we call certain things those names? Most curious people. Yeah. Which is right so, because they don't know. They're new to this world still. They're still experiencing stuff, of course. Why well, am I saying not- one word? Why? <laughs> that that word what that word why is probably the biggest question, you know, that someone could ask. Best thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just when you don't something. have an answer or you think about it. Like sometimes they ask me things and I'm like, why do we do that? Yeah. I'm like why? Why can't we do that? And I think that question is a scary question, but it's a beautiful question as yeah. well. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go a little off rails here. The only every time I think of like a baby is uh, when they like pretend they're like on a phone and then they pass it to you. You pick up that damn phone and pretend like there's someone on the other side. Oh yeah, you have no choice. Don't break their hearts and be like, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've I actually seen somebody like just push their hand back. I'm like, oh. That's so rude. They're not human. They're not Answer human. the phone. <laughs> they glitch in the matrix. <laughs> They're the glitch in the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> They're that two in the in the whole ones and zeros. Yeah. In the one zero zero. <laughs> one. I, I think I, I already said everything I got to say when it comes to conspiracies. Oh well, we're yeah, going to talk too. a little bit on on aliens and ghosts. Aliens I mean. and ghosts. Ooh, we can talk about those. All right. Do you right. believe in an afterlife or reincarnation? I feel like or both. that is a. Cho- I feel like that's a choice. Okay, no, hold on. The best thing I've ever heard somebody say is, "Everyone has a lesson they need to learn." And you keep getting reincarnated until you fully grasp that lesson. So basically, you're brought to this earth for a reason, and you have to find that reason. And if you, you have to it, fulfill it, yeah. And if you don't, you get reincarnated until you fulfill it. Once you fulfill it, once you fulfill it, and you completely understand it, then you're able to move on into the afterlife and be at peace. That's crazy to even think about, and that's awesome. That was, that's the awesome best thing I've ever heard. Yeah, that it is. is. Yeah. It just opens up so many more questions for like. Is this like, is, this, is that mm-hmm. real? Like, is like does reincar like reincarnation like happen? Is that real? I feel like it does exist for sure. Mm-hmm. You know. Well, oh, for sure. I mean. For there to be a whole religion about reincarnation, it's, it's part of it might have to. I mean, the whole same thing goes to Catholicism and, and Christianity. Right. It was I based like on all something. religions come from like one like holy, like, I'm not even sure how to say it. Like, there's just, they're all based on like, they're all like branches of just one religion total. And we don't know any of that. We don't know. What 100%. It is. Yeah. Um, like some really just assumes that they're on their they're like well no we're the original religion but like if you see like there's a lot of like religions that tie into each other like there's some I don't know if you guys know like a lot of like Islam, Christianity and Catholicism like they um they intertwine a lot. The the more different yeah. is just like the prophet really. Yep. Well, I mean, isn't the whole difference between evangelicals and Christianity is the fact that Christianity uses an image of God while evangelicals don't believe in the certain imagery that we believe in? Yeah, exactly. Right? And then you can it's just a minor detail. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I'm speaking for myself here. I definitely believe in and ghosts and spirits and all that stuff. I mean, I've had my fair share of experiences. Yeah. (laughs) Naomi as well, which we we will not. I believe in reincarnation. 
mm-hmm. because so you do you ever have a moment that you're like something random happens and you're like oh deja vu but where did yep. that happen like how can you explain that i believe in another world like that happened or whatever and it's just like your body's way of saying like yep this has happened before because you've lived this or in the past you were this or that you know they say like your your birthmarks is like where you died from the past yeah. life and stuff like, like if that. you have like random scars that you can't explain how you got them and stuff yeah yeah i believe in that that's and i also right. i also do believe in an afterlife Mm -hmm. Um, as in like, I believe that you, like I said, it kind of depends on what you believe in, Mm -hmm. but I do believe that like, if you're happy and let go, like happily and you feel like you, I don't know, could like you achieved what you could, you go on to like an afterlife. And that's what, that's what you think, like, you, like, it comes to what you said, like, if you didn't, if you feel like you didn't fulfill what you needed to do and stuff, like, you basically, like, your soul stays mm-hmm. in this world. Until you get it through. Yeah, until either you pass it along to somebody or your soul gets reincarnated into somebody, like, into, like you begin again, kind of. Yeah. Flower. Okay. <laughs> Flower. <laughs> Flower. And I was meant Nature. to get people oxygen. I mean, I mean mm-hmm. and physically and scientifically say, like, fucking, we all are reincarnations of someone. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah, 100%. There's sometimes mm-hmm. things that you can't explain. Like, you have things that you wish you didn't. Yes. It, it makes you who you are. Mm hmm. And it's like, why though? But maybe in your past life, like that was like your gift and you were supposed to do something with it and stuff. And this is just your new life and you have to do the same. Kind of, I don't know if you've seen that picture where it's like ADHD is technically a superpower because you're hyper aware. Um, You notice like some minor details here and there, but it's also bad because you sometimes need to like turn it off and like not be paying attention to every little thing happening around you mm-hmm. yeah You're, yeah so everything could be a gift or a curse depending on how you see it every gift is a curse i believe that too because you have to live with it yeah <laughs> that's like other things that it's crazy how everything's like like as when said labeled like like OCD, anxiety mm-hmm. and stuff. The passion the fact that a human had enslaved. Yeah. Like something that makes us human is considered like a defect. Mm-hmm. And I think when it's just, part of the human psyche. Yeah. You it's know, just it's yeah. labeling ourselves. It's like it's like yeah. my it anxiety compared to somebody else's anxiety could be different, but just because I say like, yeah, I have anxiety, people think it's like, yeah, oh, but like anxiety disorder. She just yeah. has little moments and stuff that if it doesn't go her way it's just she freaks out and it's not that at all or like OCD I have a friend who's OCD and like it literally pains her if she doesn't mm-hmm. do something three times Yep. and it's just not it's not every single thing but it's like the light switch if you tell her stop like she's like I cannot and it's just yeah. people are like, oh my god, like why can't she just stop? Like that's yeah. just who she is. Yeah, like literally. It's... You why why think it's like a defect that just be like just let her be. Yeah, it's literally in their mind that yeah. they have to do it. Yeah, they, they literally cleans them from the inside out. Mm-hmm. Like people don't understand that. You know, mm-hmm. there's some like psychological thing that happens in their mind. Sometimes it can't be fixed. Yeah, and they just have to deal with that repercussions on that. And that's when I think like medicine doesn't. That's how. That's where I was actually going to go. Like, me- like they just do medicine, and medicine is not just a one pill fix all type of yeah. thing. Those placebos and whatnot that they give people is ridiculous. It could be placebos, or it actually something that just worsens it, or okay, shuts one system down, but awakens like other systems. You mm-hmm. know, yeah, just it's like antidepressants. Like, yeah, it's supposed to take away my anxiety, like my depression, but it's making it makes me feel like a robot. I feel, feel alone. Like, like, yeah. 
I don't know. That's just like a lot of. I mean, I like I had a. I was getting very anxious at at, at work um a while ago. Like I think last year, over a year ago, and one of the one of the workers at the moment had anxiety medication and just gave me like a small dose of it which i took but i hated the way i felt like yep. i actually i actually felt worse on the medication than what i would have just dealing with my anxiety at the moment which is why people stop taking it and then that's yeah. why like well you need to take it it'll get better but like it doesn't it's like i feel zombie yeah because yeah. yeah. you get used to it it's simple as yeah. that it's just you no. getting used to like the high yeah, yeah. No. like eventually mm-hmm. it settles and you're like okay i guess this is how i'm supposed to feel so it, if i feel like this it's better it's working and, and then you have one bad trip and yeah. it all goes to shit and that's how drug addiction starts to be honest that's how literally it starts is you try to fix one thing and then you break something else and then if you stop taking that one thing you don't act like you're normal anymore yeah. so then you got to take something for that other thing and then that other thing has to need another thing which is why it goes back to the whole yeah which is why it also goes back to the whole um alcoholic alcoholics and and drug addicts type of thing because it's like that that ends up being unfortunately medication for a lot of people dealing with these things whether it's depression or anxiety or whatever and then it should be taken as a mental illness not just of you're an addict you're addicted to this one substance yeah those people really do need the help but they you know get already like as you said they get labeled real quick and then people already have that perception of them and they're like oh my god they're a drug addict yes. you know so, so yeah. speaking on just that involved. i don't know if i could ask this or if it'll be like too um hot to ask drug addiction do you think it's a disease or is it a choice i believe it starts off as a choice to develop into a disease Uh, yeah i think so too that's a good way to put it i think i think it starts as a choice but a lot of people think it's like it's not their choice it's just a disease that they have so exactly. So that's why I'm saying it develops into a disease mm-hmm. because when you first take what, let's say heroin, mm-hmm. you're ta- you're making the choice of taking yes. heroin, but because it's so addicting, you eventually get to the point where it's a disease where you need to take mm-hmm. it as much as people are like, no, you don't need to, you want to, but it, that's in their mind, it's like, like- Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, I've had yeah, I've it, argued it, with people that don't think it's it was their choice. Like it's mm-hmm. just a disease that they have that they need. They need the drug, and it's like no. Yeah. They made the choice first to take that drug and become addicted to it. You know, like, yes. the choices. Yeah. Like you. Choice. You could either say no and walk away, or you say yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Yeah. And then, like. Like at this point, like us, like we all have beers in front of mm-hmm. us. Like we're making we're making the choice of yeah. drinking. It's not a disease. But we're like not... you have to drink it. Exactly. So, what's your what's your exactly. full take on that though? Like Um, like I said earlier, I think we have we live a life of choices, of making choices. Everything we do in life is making a choice. We're taking a breath right now, we're deciding to breathe, even though it's like a muscle memory and it's something that it's, we have to do to sustain us. It's a choice we are doing. You get me? It's like a choice we're doing this podcast right now. It's a choice we all got on too. Every choice leads to like what every choice we do leads to like where we are now. So yeah. obviously, like if you're an addict, if you get addicted to a substance, then it was your choice to eventually get there. You made a choice that got you there. Yeah, this is a good segue to another conspiracy. Probably this one you you'll get a little bit more hot take on this one. But is fate real? 
do you believe in fate or like destiny like destiny yeah um like everything happens for a reason and there's nothing that's out of your control entirely i believe that you make your own destiny and like, mm-hmm. like your, own fate. your choices like from yeah um because yeah it could be like the choice i made let 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 like led me to this fate to this destiny but again it's you making that decision it's not like yeah from the beginning it's like that's her de- like that's her destiny that's her fate doesn't matter what she decided it's always going to be that no we're not living a book that's what i'm saying but there's people who like honestly think like no destiny is destiny like if you're meant to die here you're gonna die here no. For this time. Exactly. It's like if you're if you're stuck in a room and it's flooding, mm-hmm. you have the choice to break open a window Butterfly, to yeah. keep yourself to keep yourself <laughs> up like floating and breathing until you like help reaches you. Yeah. But I mean it's not that you were meant to die in that room. Exactly. If there's a perfectly good window you could open to like get out of, yeah, you have the choice to open that window and get out. Nothing's keeping you inside unless you're physically chained to the wall or something. But I mean, if that was your, that like, you still have the choice to try to pry that chain off the wall and make it to that window. And it's like, okay, if that's my destiny, that's my destiny. At least I tried and I honestly had no exactly. other choice. Then yeah, okay. and it happens. Yeah, yeah. Like, at that point, you can that say, that is your fate. fate. Yeah. And that's the fate. I guess this is yeah. my- to die here because honestly and it still it, goes I, back to like the choices too like you ended up deciding to be at that specific well, place at that specific time there decided to mm-hmm. go there to that but then, then when you say like that though then that's when it kind of leans on like it was meant to happen which is weird it's crazy if you think about it because what if it wasn't your choice like a kidnapped yeah. Like, no one chooses really bad. Okay, if you're kidnapped, yeah. though, like, it's crazy because you happen to be at the spot where they kidnapped you. It all leads to that choice where you are, where you end up being. You happen to be there. It's yeah. all by choice, even if things happen to go by force. And see, that's where it falls yeah. into, like, well, I guess that's destiny. So it's like, Well, no. It, <laughs> it kind of like no, contradicts because, itself at Yeah, the same it's like time. a contradiction, yeah. What is that? I'm thinking yeah. it's a, a rhetorical thing, pretty much. Like, it just is... Yeah. It happens. Like it's meant to happen. Yeah. I guess it is but what it is. It is what it is. There you go. But it, but it's just weird too because then like you can't you can't control yeah. like others people's choices. And that's where that like leans into you, that. Yeah. Yeah, but you you do get to choose how you to how you react yeah. to totally those other choices. Mm-hmm. That's very true. You always have choices in life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For for sure. You there's multiple choices someone gets to take. People just actually have to choose how they want to react. Mm-hmm. I don't to you guys, I've actually just uh, how to how to phrase this without making me so without making myself sound so horrible of a person. Um there was a moment at work where I was just like literally done with a whole bunch of shit that was just happening. Like I was just going into work day in and day out, just already mad. Like I didn't just want to be there, but yeah, I got to the point where I was like, all right, I need to stop being mad. I made the decision is just stop being mad, stop being angry and like go to work, show up with a smile on my face and see where it goes. It actually makes a big difference. Why did no one tell me that being happy was a good thing? It's that like fake until you make it kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, which is and yeah, it, I felt it that, sounds though. yeah, it sounds like stupid, like fake until you make it, but it's not you literally faking. It's just sometimes you try your, your brain, hardest. Yeah, you have to tell your brain like, dude, it's not that big of a deal. It's fine, and that's that's what happens. Like sometimes you get angry and you say things you don't mean, and at the moment it's just you're so upset and you say it, and then after like mm-hmm. you're like crap. I, why did I say that if I really didn't mean it? But at the moment, it's just like, yeah. you know, it's just you yeah. telling your brain, if like before you explode, the same, like, you don't have to do that. Like yeah. sometimes you have to tell your brain, like, be happy, be happy, be happy. Don't right. do this right now. You gotta be remind happy. your own self, to, yeah. you know. Be happy. 
Don't, yeah. really. don't be a dick. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, I'm going to say that's it for this episode, maybe episodes, depending on how long we actually went. Um, I know it took a little deeper turn than what we expected at the end there, but I mean, that is what our family conversations are normally like. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, Naomi, where can they find you? Uh, if you want to be found. Follow me on Instagram. Naomi M. N A H O M I M. Follow me. And Esme? Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. It's both the same on Esvin, E S V I N A M. And Leche. Yeah, you guys can follow me on Instagram as Leche Minuesa. All right. Uh, y'all have names as your instagrams and stuff uh y'all could follow me at one alpha penguin on both instagram and twitter Ooh, alpha penguin yeah, alpha penguin <laughs> all right thank you for listening we'll see you next week Bye-bye. bye bye see ya